All right, another status here. The things you don't think about when you're downsizing, you know, we went from a much, much bigger room in this old place to this one. So I have the treatment to where I've got a, uh, a sound panel that will go in there. Matter of fact, it's sitting right there on the floor. That goes up on the ceiling. That's a little cloud that will run all the way from there. So it'll be surrounded by foam around it. So sometimes I put foam on there behind it, but either way. Um, we now have everything in that's sounding great. This room is really, really a good sound. And then we still have some visual things to do. Now, what we didn't think about was his old studio was massive compared to this, at least twice as wide and probably a third longer. And we get caught with the fact that we're going to have to switch to smaller monitors, speakers, because these are just too big for the, the width that we have in this room. Personas makes a great set of four uh, smaller ones. They're the Aris 4.5s, if I remember. So we'll get those so that we can do that. We will also take those and I will build, we'll build a shelf up here above the monitor so those won't be taking desk space. But the smaller ones would work on the desk. These are just too big. They were great in the big room. But uh, since this is a temporary space and we're not finished, we got everything up here. We're close. All right, we made lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of progress, but it's not done done, but it's all workable and uh, it actually really sounds very, very good in here. I don't, even, I don't have the door closed. I have the door open and all my construction stuff out here. I have two of these uh, sound panels built and there's two there and there's one in here and ultimately there will be one on the back wall here, uh, one on the ceiling. The ceiling goes in here. And that's by the way that's a ceiling in case you don't know what a ceiling is and then uh so this one will go back here on the sidewall we have another on the on uh, the back wall here probably and definitely one up top and that will complete fill in the spaces that are missing from the foam and uh but the room sounds great already without that but what i like to have just so you know i prefer rather than having 100 percent foam or all sound panels a mix because they do absorb different things, uh, different frequency ranges. And, the, and so when you combine them, you get an even better balance than if you use all one thing most of the time. Unless you really know what you're doing and you really pick certain materials and you know the room and you do the analysis, you can get it all with one material, but it really is better if you can pull it off. It's even better if you have two different materials. Like if you, had, uh, if you couldn't do the sound panels and you did curtains or quilts or that kind of thing on one wall and then foam every place else then that would be better than 100 percent foam or 100 percent curtains or 100 percent sound panels it's nice to mix them up a little bit so that's the status uh, i'm out of time for this trip so this is how he'll, he'll 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 get to finish it up but he has so little to do it's working everything's up and operational so it's a uh, amazing in terms of the output sound uh, just not 100% finished in terms of the visuals. So hope you enjoyed this little series. And if you have questions, throw them in the comments here on YouTube. Join us in the Facebook group. There's the RX group. The, uh, there's RX. There's one for Studio One. Whether you look, listen, a lot like a lot of people don't like Facebook, but in terms of getting in the groups, it's a great thing. Uh, find me on LinkedIn. Connect on LinkedIn. Connect on Facebook. Just connect. All right. You guys have a fantastic day. And uh, we'll be back and I'll show additional refinements next my next trip out here to Florida. So that, that could be a couple months, but uh, it'll happen again. Talk to you. Bye.